Blitz game is a Commodore 64 game made at an unknown time. Despite the scarcity of information surrounding the game, it is known that Guy Chavit was responsible for its musical score, although none of the music featured in the game has yet surfaced from its extensive catalog. Based on the info box, there is a chance that Blitz game could be a copycat of Blitz, which is a game where players could drop bombs on buildings. If this is the case, the game likely featured impressive explosions and enemy targets to blast. It's also possible that Blitz game was not a copy of any existing game, and instead featured original elements or special gameplay features from other games at the time. Unfortunately, no further information has come to light about the game, and Guy Chavit who composed music for it, hasn't shared any additional details or provided clues as to where we might find it. It's unclear if the game was ever released in some form, or if it was just ultimately cancelled, and the mystery surrounding its fate remains unsolved to this day. Hollywood Squares was a television game show created by Merrill Heater and Bob Quigley. It first aired on NBC on October 17, 1966, and was on the air for 38 years through syndication. The most recent version of the show ended on June 4, 2004. A pilot episode for the show was filmed on August 12, 1966, featuring Burt Parks as the host instead of Peter Marshall. The gameplay of the pilot episode was very similar to the actual show, with contestants playing the best two out of three matches and each completed game would be worth $250. The winner of each match would return to compete in the next one. According to the book Backstage with the original Hollywood Square, Peter Marshall, the show's eventual host, claimed that a second pilot was filmed with comedian Sandy Barron as the host. Marshall also claimed to have been in the audience for the second pilot. There were also more claims of a second pilot being filmed, these being from the book This Day in Game Show History and various fan sites. As of 2023, however, it has not been officially confirmed whether the Sandy Barron pilot was ever filmed, although Barron did appear as a panelist on the actual show. Hardcore Pawn is a reality television show that follows the lives of a family of pawn shop owners in Detroit. The pawn shop is owned by Leslie Gold and co-owned by his two children, Seth and Ashley. The series showcases objects that are brought in to be pawned or sold, as well as the customers who visit the store. The show originally aired on True TV for nine seasons, running from 2010 to 2015, and it was cancelled when the network decided to take the channel in a different direction. Plans for a tenth season were reportedly in the works, with one episode set to feature Chris Bors, also known as Irate Gamer, where he could be seen showcasing his supposed ghost hunting abilities as he dealt with the haunting in the shop. Bors had been teasing his appearance on a reality TV show on his YouTube channel for a couple of months towards the end of 2014. He initially claimed that he would appear on a show in January 2014, without specifying which one, and he later changed the date to January and February before being quiet on the subject. On March 5th, 2015, Bors announced in a now-deleted update video that he would appear in Hardcore Upon, where he would hunt Ghost, although he admitted that the show's editors might have made him look foolish. Bors also included a picture of himself and Leslie to back up his claims. However, Bors did not appear in any episode of the show's final season, which ended on April 6, 2015. There is no evidence that the planned episode featuring Boris was ever filmed, and it's possible that his footage was cut for quality or pacing reasons. Cosmic is a video game that was reportedly released for the Atari 2600 console. According to Atari Mania pages, the game was published by two companies, Space Vision in Australia and Choplifter in Thailand. It is believed that the game was available on cartridge, which was the standard format for most Atari 2600 games. It's known that Cosmic is a one-player game that uses the joystick for controls. However, beyond these details, very little is known about the game, and there is not much evidence to support its existence. Some speculate that Cosmic may be a rebranded version of another Atari 2600 game, such as Cosmic Corridor, Cosmic Arc, or Space Jockey. These games were popular space shooters at the time. However, there is no clear connection between Cosmic and any of these titles which raises the possibility that it may be in an original game. Recently, a copy of the Choplifter version of the game surfaced, revealing that it was in fact a clone of Cosmic Arc. However, the content of the Space Vision version remains a mystery. Robot Wars was a popular British robot combat game show produced by Mentor and broadcast on BBC Two and Channel Five between 1998 and 2004, and then from 2016 and 2017. The premise involved amateur engineers building machines that battled other competitors in combat. During its peak popularity in January 2002, the show had been sold to 20 countries with spin-off shows broadcasting in some of these countries. It was also expected to generate more than 100 million pounds in TV rights and merchandise sales. The show's success was especially appealing to children, with the show achieving a 34% share of all children watching British television in 2001. Mentor and the producers of Robot Wars planned to further capitalize on the show's success with children by producing a cartoon series based on the show. By January 2002, they had begun planning the show. 
With the aim of producing episodes over the next two years for broadcast between 2004 and 2005, the main narrative of the cartoon was unknown, but the house robots from the main show were expected to be key characters. However, the cartoon never made it to television screens as the show was cancelled in 2004, following poor Series 7 ratings on Channel 5, which had acquired the show from BBC in 2003. Although the concept of a cartoon series based on Robot Wars has been verified by trusted sources, it is unclear whether any animation was made prior to the show being shelved. The Guardian and Gearheads mentioned that Mentorn had plans for the cartoon with two years set aside for its production, but whether any actual work was done on the show remains unconfirmed. There was also no news from Mentorn or other reputable sources regarding the development of the cartoon. Therefore, it is unknown whether the cartoon was scrapped at the conceptual stage or was cancelled during its development. In 1993, Sega released Sega Sonic the Hedgehog, which was a platform game exclusively in Japan for the arcade hardware System 32. The game was developed by AM3, which was a division of Sega, and published by Sega themselves. However, the game has never been released for home consoles due to its unique trackball control scheme that is difficult to translate for regular controllers. Despite plans to include it in Sonic Gems collection, the game was eventually scrapped. Rumors began to circulate in the mid-1990s that the game was being developed for the Sega Genesis add-on 32X. But these rumors were never confirmed. Computer and Video Games and Mean Machine Sega reported on the rumor in the previews of Sonic and Knuckles in October 1994, but the port was never mentioned again. Since Walker Walker Sonic Patrol Car was the only other Sonic arcade game available at the time, it can be assumed that the game in question was Sega Sonic the Hedgehog. It's unclear who was developing the port, but if it was Sega of Japan, it may have been cancelled and moved to the Sega Saturn, which was released a year earlier in Japan. It's also possible that a Saturn port was considered, as the console was designed after the System 32 arcade hardware, but no such port has ever been suggested or discussed. As of this recording, no home console port of the game has been leaked to the internet and its existence remains unknown. The Lion King 2 Simba's Pride is a sequel to Disney's 1994 animated film The Lion King. The movie was released direct to video in 1998 after undergoing many changes during its development. Originally, Scar and Zira would have a son named Nunca, who would try to seduce Simba's daughter Aisha. However, this idea was scrapped due to the possibility of an incest relationship. Later on, Nunca was renamed to Kovu, and the name Nunca was reused for another character. At one point during development, the hyenas were supposed to return, but this idea was ultimately abandoned for unknown reasons. Additionally, Zazu was meant to have a girlfriend named Binti, but she was also dropped for unknown reasons. Early scripts suggested that Simba was going to die at some point in the movie, although no solid evidence exists to support this. The story also initially involved Kiara and Kovu running away, but Mufasa had to convince them to return. A line recorded in a documentary from Mufasa stated, You have let your family break apart, and in doing so, you have broken the circle of life. But it's unclear where this line was meant to appear or why it was cut. Rumors and speculation also surround the deaths of Nuka and Zira, with some claiming to have seen the finished scenes, but no concrete proof exists to confirm these rumors. Pop Go The Wiggles is the 27th album by the Australian children's group The Wiggles. The album was released on August 7, 2007, and it's unique as it's the first album exclusively dedicated to nursery rhymes. Greg Page revealed in a 2006 interview with Pop Entertainment that two videos were recorded for the series initially set to air in early 2007. In 2012, it was confirmed that one of these videos was getting strong. The other video is speculated to be the original version of Pop Go the Wiggles. Evidence supporting this theory comes from the inclusion of Twinkle Twinkle Little Star during the 2006 North American tour Wiggle Dancing Live on Stage, and the appearance of Here We Go Round the Mulberry Bush in the 2007 edition of the Raising the Rainbow Tour program. Although no proof of the song being performed during 2007 has surfaced, it's possible that it was planned for the setlist when Greg was still in the group. There is no elaboration from Greg or any of the other members of the Wiggles regarding the second video recorded for the TV series. While visual proof of getting stronger surfaced, including two music videos from the video and several production photos, no visual evidence has surfaced for the alleged original version of Pop Go the Wiggles. It remains unknown whether any proof of the original version of the video will ever surface. 